Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> It's so slippery. Oh dear, oh dear. You can't park there, sir. Ooh. That was weird. Are you all right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's just cutting the power. Now I've lost everything. I have no power at all now. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today, albeit not currently, at Silverstone for Tracks. Despite it being the first time I've ever attended this show, uh, I somehow managed to forget to film an intro, hence why you currently join me here in my little office space. But before we crack on and get into the track action in today's video, of which unfortunately didn't really end too well, I'd like to give a massive thank you to Car Vertical for once again supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. Some of you guys may have heard me speak about Car Vertical before, but in case you haven't, it's essentially a handy tool which scours through various databases and national registries to essentially give a full and comprehensive report of any used car. Simply input the registration or the chassis number into the search bar and for a very small cost you'll be provided with an incredibly detailed report of that specific car. As mentioned before, Car Vertical can identify multiple different forms of vehicle defects. These things include whether a car has been in any accidents or crash damaged before, whether the mileage has been tampered with, whether the car has been imported or exported at any time in its life or even if it's been previously reported stolen. Now with there being so many hidden stories out there with used cars these days, it's a tool which I genuinely do stand by and have no issue with recommending it to you guys at home. So let's have a quick look at this report of an F80 M3, which as you can see, has flagged up multiple defects, most notably some pretty serious front end damage in the past. As you can see from the photos, the car has definitely seen better days, but not only that, from the car vertical check, you you can actually see that it was crashed over in Poland despite being a UK registered car. The search has also detected that the car's mileage has been tampered with back in 2017 and also that the car has been advertised for sale since. A massive thank you goes to Car Vertical for the continued support on my channel and remember you guys can get yourself a 10% discount by following the link in the top line of the video description. But anyway, I think let's go have some fun out on Silverstone in my stage 3 manual so far. I mean, it's overtaking on the left for a start. Where are you going, mate? Oh my! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long! He's literally done that on turn one. I know. So here we are then folks, out on track. We've just done a little sighting lap almost with a safety car. Now there are a lot of cars on track, which I'm not overly confident about, to be honest. slippery on that corner, you know. This is my first time actually driving on Silverstone. And even though it is a little bit wet, it is a lot of fun. Oh dear, oh dear. You can't park there, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slippery.
Now, whilst we are in a little bit of traffic, that is one car I'd love to own one day. E92 M3 NA V8, proper weapon of a car. And actually, you can make them into some pretty mega track cars as well. But this is feeling epic now with the new wheels and tires. Albeit it is very slippery, as you can see. <laughs> Great track though, even though we're not doing the full kind of Grand Prix track, it still is a lot of fun. A lot of straights, a lot of corners. Just a shame there's also a lot of cars. <laughs> and not much grip. <laughs> with the C92 and behind him for pretty much like the whole session you can't just get past him <laughs> just because he's not letting me pass yeah <laughs> mm. finally we're through <laughs> oh, there we go that's the end of the session hey. well that was a very very busy session normally when I do track days I mean this isn't like a, a kind of a Silverstone owned track day, it's tracks, it's a car show where you can book track time. So there's gonna be a lot of people on track, but I mean, you saw, I mean, there was two spins on that, two spins. That we saw. That, that was sketchy, that but it was great fun. Tires and wheels are performing great. Um, brakes as well, really, really good. But yeah, we've got one more session uh, a little bit later on. So I guess we'll fast forward to that. Um, but yeah, track content is in full swing. And my first time driving at Silverstone as well. Um, epic fun, just a shame we don't actually get a cool down lap. So my brakes are gonna be a little bit hot. But anyway, yeah, session two coming up. Should be good fun. Hopefully a little bit less busy. Here we are, second session of the day. Again, more traffic, typical. that the uh, track is a lot drier we're now going to be able to fully experience the cup twos oh flame coming out the back of that <laughs> oh that was weird are you all right seems all right Got a quarter of a tank. Got a warning light. Oh yeah, that's normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> it's not pulling as quick. in the power. Was it? Yeah. Like you get to a certain speed and it just cuts the power. It's 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 in limp mode I think. It's a pretty powerful limp mode. <laughs> 
Yeah, like now it's just the power's not there. That's full throttle. That's full throttle now. Really? Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, it's, it's not happy, is it? It's not like I'm low on fuel. It's proper weird, like the power's just not there. Like that's full throttle. Can you feel it juddering? Yeah, I feel that. Literally just traction off and tyre pressures, which is normal. Like that, that's yeah, full throttle again. That. that is getting worse. Yeah, I feel the genre. Yeah. That's a pain. I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Yeah. And see if I can go back out, but. I mean, how much longer is left of the session? Probably 10 minutes. Give it, give it a shot, see what they say. Give it a shot, yeah. Have a look underneath as well for oil. It might be dripping. Yeah, that's true, actually. Boost pipe hasn't come off. I'll just start it back up and see. That is really weird. We did get a few clear laps there, didn't we? We did, it's just very odd. Hello mate, I was just out on track but I, I'd lost power, so I came in, turned it off, turned it back on. Is it alright to go back on yeah, or is it? Yeah, the J's are still out, so... Just go straight back on? Yeah, go on. Cheers buddy. Woo nice A little bit of diagnostics. <laughs> Would it work if you turn it off and turn it back on again? Oh. That seems a bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> Fifteen miles range. <laughs> no, still. Sh That's coil packs. Do you know, do you know what my actually be? Now I've lost everything. I have no power at all now. Oh, brilliant! I have no. We got like first and second. That was good. <laughs> I reckon my coil packs have gone. It was a full acceleration, which then made it like now I'm in limo again. Yeah. Full throttle. Damn it! Wah, wah. Well, there's that then. First issue with the car, limp mode. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's coil packs. Cause it, it's where it stutters high end it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a lot of hazards on actually. What a pain in the arse. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't have been able to do much more anyway cause I've got 15 miles range. There's that as well. Mm -hmm. These are trying times. <laughs> they, they are. They are indeed. Oh well. Here's what it is. I mean, this car is, well, it's, it's not run, meant to run 200 horsepower more than what it did when it rolled off the factory. And it would probably help if I did the call packs, to be honest, because these are the OEM factory standard ones. Um, not a major issue. I think a Golf R here today actually did blow his engine up, to be honest with you, um, which is awful to see. Um, so at least we didn't do that, but it's very obvious that it's in limp mode. When we went out of the pits, it was fine. But then when you get it into like the top end of third, it stutters, it, you lose power and it, it's, it's gone. So I am going to call it a day, I think. Um, not really the end of the day, which I was hoping for, but it is what it is. Things go wrong, um, nothing major. And hopefully it is the call packs. I'm pretty sure it is, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry that it's all been cut short. Um, and now that the weather's nice, it's absolutely typical, but it is what it is. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like 
and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Mm -hmm.